This is Updata Analytics um, running on uh, Yahoo Finance and uh, of course Updata runs on a whole series of different feeds. You can configure these um, in your in your tray icon and under data feeds you'll see an entry for Yahoo Finance. Uh, we also do Google but uh, let's just take a look at uh, Yahoo. So this brings you an extra level of analytics um, out of the box but a lot of people look at uh, their shares on on um, Yahoo Finance and the great thing is is that uh, if you type in a symbol um, and if I take a look at something like the the DAX if you type in a symbol you get the code there um, GDAXI but uh, we can actually go and do that and you can take that code and you can quite simply uh, you can just t take it in your um, uh, and copy it, and then go to Updata. Uh, space bar opens. Uh, space bar opens a new chart, and in my Yahoo tab, um, I picked up a bracket there, so I just take that out, and I can go and open a chart, and that data is coming from the Yahoo Finance site. And these these histories are lovely and long. I mean, this one goes back to 1991, so. Um, a lot of power and of course once you have that um, you have all the tools available to you that you would expect to see in updater so one of our uh, favorites of course is the shift key and press T and it gives you all the trends and targets uh, straight away so just bringing extra power to that data and of course with updater you have all this uh, technical analysis out of the box cloud charts point and figure charts uh, a whole host of analysis techniques um, I mean this one here quite interestingly is the um, the Sensex index and this is a market breadth indicator and I'll come back and explain that in in a moment but once we can um, just show you how you get the data histories. So um, we saw there that you can just literally type in any code you want um, but you can take it a step further you can say okay what I'd like to do is get the um, <coughs> index constituent so if I go DAX index members um, on just in, on, in Google um, here we go we got to a Wikipedia site and if I scroll down I've got here the codes for those members so what I can do is just grab um, that table um, just hover over it control C copies it go to something as simple as Excel you could do this in, in any package really um, and then what I do is I just go over the co code field um, go down and grab those control C and then I go into updater and if I go to quote list and say I want to create a new quote list from pasted text I simply then um, paste that text in um, and it's coming from Yahoo now it's important so here I see the uh, so if I look at VOW3 which is Volkswagen if I go back to um, my um, uh, Yahoo page if I type in VOW3 I'm getting the syntax which is dot DE so I can then just in updata um, in that uh, in this uh, thing here I can just add the suffix dot de so that it will give me all those um, Yahoo codes and so I'm going to call this list DAX uh, 30 um, Yahoo and so I go and create that list um, I'll make it a real time it's it is end of day data on on there and straight away this is my list now of the German DAX index members and of course I can double click on any of these and straight away that will that will draw me the chart so really great from that perspective um, so having all those charts available to me and because updater caches the data these charts are super quick so once you've made those requests you can just go through and grab the chart so that makes it really really fast and in fact we could do um, that same thing 
um, for say the Indian market we do it in a slightly different way um, and so first of all I'll go and say okay what are the index members for um, the Indian market so if I just go back to Google here um, if I look at say the nifty 50 100 constituent codes and you sometimes you have to dig around and here it's saying download the list of stocks um, so if we go and download this list it's just saying do I want to download this list and this will hopefully give me um, a list in Excel and again I've got the codes here so I can just take those codes um, this is a little bit easier I haven't had to go and paste them from a web page control C go back to my updater list and now let's create a new list create from paste to text and paste those in now they're coming from the Yahoo feed and I'm going to call them nifty 50 Yahoo but what I need to do is just work out what the uh, the syntax is so if I take the first one on the list was um, uh, let's just go back up to the list let's ACC let's see what happens if I just go and type that in ACC um, and that one's not uh, showing up so if I go dot quite often oh, here we go a Bombay so or NS I c so I can choose either if I go for Bombay um, so the suffix there was dot B O add that to the list and it adds it to all of the constituents create the list um, and I'll go again and um, here I've already created a list so I'm just overwriting that list and again if I go and double click the histories are all there so this makes it really really powerful um, in, in, in that regard but of course now that we've got those uh, lists we've got all the histories behind that we can start to do some interesting things so what we can do is now go and look at something like the market breadth which we talked about and the market breadth studies in Updata are fantastic there's a whole host of market breadth studies you can do cumulative ones and so here this is a bullish percent you know, it's very unique to Updata it's a number of stocks that have given uh, double top buy point and figure signals and 63% of the nifty 50 are currently doing that and we can see the historic of the 50 stocks so this is the signals amongst those 50 stocks these market breadth indicators become quite powerful um, but we can of course we can go a step further a lot of uh, updater users use updater for its scanning so um, I could scan for something like on balance volume um, or divergence um, and divergence is quite a hard one to uh, scan for I just show you and we have these highlighters there's dozens and dozens of these written and uh, divergence is here um, and so I've already got one in for on balance volume so you can set for uh, candle patterns point and figure patterns custom indicators all sorts of things so you could actually go and scan for pretty well any technical criteria you want and multiples of those criteria so really quite powerful but if I run that scan um, let's run it first on the um, on the German market so here's my DAX 30 list in Yahoo if I run this scan you'll see how quick it's running through those 30 stocks finding divergence between volume and price and between the on value and volume. The grey ones here are new. Um, if I click on this uh, list, this is all coming from Yahoo, this data, and now we just run through the results and we see here price rising, volume falling. So just showing the divergence again. Very difficult to uh, scan for this um, and just highlighting the, the difference uh, in diversion, divergence here where we're seeing um, and it's great to be able to eyeball the results it's worth running through so here we see stock that's sort of going up but volume hitting new lows so um, just 
great to be able to do that. There's a whole host of uh, a library full of uh, scans that are already pre-written. Um, one of my favorites is uh, just a point and figure one. So I'll do this on the Indian market. And if I go and look at, say, the Nifty 50, um, and if I just edit just to show you this scan, this one um, is really very powerful. It's basically using percentage log scale charts, very difficult to draw in point and figure. Um, I'm looking for the trend to be up and I want there to be more than 40% upside. So that's quite a, a quite a, a condition. So how many stocks in the Nifty 50 have got more than 40% upside on the 1% chart? So we're going to run through those and you can see here it's running through the histories. Again it's pretty quick. It's got a lot of work to do to calculate those log scale uh, charts um, but you can see that it's it's now running through uh, the results here and here we see them coming in. So I've got at the moment out of the 50 stocks there are seven of them that have got more than 50% upside and you can run multiple ones here so here we're seeing the um, percentages on the charts I can then go notice here the data is coming from Yahoo Finance again so it's just pulling that Yahoo data in you could do this on Nasdaq you can do it on big lists there's really no limit to um, to how many stocks you do it on so really 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 powerful and if last of all if we just take a look at the back testing capability and updata so I can say okay I want to have a look at um, uh, there's a whole host again in our libraries there's over a thousand pre-written back tests but if I look at an RSI system and say okay here's my RSI system this is the code pre-written you can easily edit this code here's the syntax for it I'm just hovering over it and because these parameters are here I can say okay let's let's optimize those and so I'm not necessarily sure that um, 14 and um, in, is the, is the right day to use so I can let's say let's look at 8 and 21 and also I'm not necessarily sure that 30 is the right level to be looking at for the buy level so I can change that to 20 30 40 by putting a step of 10 in there and likewise I can do that for 60 uh, 70 and 80 so I can test those levels as well um, and then we can go and select an instrument um, and it remembers, so I'll do that on the German DAX, you could do it on the Sensex, you could do it on anything really. Um, so we do it on this chart here, I look next, I'll do it on daily data um, and then I'll run this uh, code. So it's running through the history, it's doing, this is a quick optimization, here are the results, so it's basically found these trades, you can take these out to a CSV um, and here is the chart. So it's saying historically for the best results, and remember these histories are very long, in fact if I take this chart out, um, it's saying historically that you should use the 9 RSI and use 30 and 70, they are right, and that will give you the best equity line for trading this market with the RSI. And so we see here the blue line is the index and the black line is the underlying performing uh, better than the index so that's just how you use the uh, the system testing as I say there's over a thousand different indicators so you really want to try that for yourself why not give uh, this a trial the great thing is of course is that you're running in here on free data all coming off uh, Yahoo Finance give it a try for yourself and see